people who uh, lived here when they were young, they were children, um, they uh, moved, you know, to Washington Township, you know, the one with the pink flamingos on the lawns and everything, you know. But this is a long time ago. It's even when I was very little. So I don't remember most of them living here. Yeah. Just the older people, like my father's uh, aunts and uncles. That's so cool, though. Like, yeah, so, um, yeah, and I certainly want to make a donation here, whatever I have to do here. Oh, thank tonight. you. Wow. Yeah, okay. whatever is appreciated. Um, sure. Just oh, now I have this book. I, in fact, I had given it to my father before he died, and the one for um, the Ninth Street one. But the Italian Americans of Greater, e oh no, that's Greater Erie. I'm sorry. No, I meant uh, the Philadelphia one. Um, I know I have it uh, when I gathered all his things. So this is a really nice gift shop, and I guess you you probably already have my name right from filling out. Uh, yeah, Nick probably has that. Um, yeah, that sure. Information. What's this QR code for? Become a member. Yeah, okay. We have that one. The one outside is for the language class. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. That's what it is. I was at a car show here, one of those classic car shows about three weeks ago. Yeah, you probably know what I mean. Yeah, yeah the passion. Because they didn't have it. You know, yeah, they didn't have it for a couple of years. Well, yeah. Uh, because, COVID obvious, yeah, the COVID. Thing. Yeah. So I walked all through the thing, and that was how I stumbled across this. And then I was like, let me look it up. You know, and then I saw your Facebook page. <laughs> I'm like, I have to uh, make sure I get there. And I thought, you know what, i got time right now. And before I leave the area, or leave this earth, um, I want to see everything. Wow, look at this. Are these are all people that donated things like this all yes, through? Exactly. Oh, isn't that awesome? Yeah, welcome to the East Pashunk Avenue Historical Exhibit. Yeah, I can almost put a small exhibit myself with all the things I collected from four families. I know, I'm sure that, that with yes, that look at that, the register, <laughs> I've only seen that in the movies look like that, because yeah, the, the even I'm not old enough, you know, I was born in the 1960s, um, I, even I can't really, you know, <laughs> recall, but my grandparents and great-grandparents, they would remember a lot of this stuff, because I remember seeing it in their house this when I was one little, of my, uh, coolest, uh, one of my favorite the barber chair, the bread Toaster made oh yeah, Italian bread. That is great. Just like you would see a you know a pasta maker. Uh huh. And I know I saw all those being used for so many years. Cheese graters, like the old fashioned metal uh -huh. kind. Yes, down that, there. But that is specifically just for Italian bread, though. That's what's so neat. About oh my that. goodness! And look at how it's shaped. And it doesn't look anything like you'd buy today. Yeah, I'd never seen one before. Um, and Start, then, yeah. what is this, the the woman that maybe um, it belonged to? Yes. Yeah, that yes. is great. Exactly. Are there many people still in this area that are either originally from here or, again, it's a melting pot, you know. Yeah, so it's tough. So that this is, this area <sighs> here is the South, like Which is, St. Cruces. Oh, yeah, I just took a picture of my father. That was a favorite uh, stop for Look, him for cheese. Yeah, they have the best It's right here. Cheese, yes. Yeah. And this is them when they first opened oh, up. Oh, my goodness. Kind of like the way Terminis and uh -huh. Igloos. And I, I would stop here with him uh, when I lived down here. I did live down here about 12 years ago near uh, 26th, and ja 20th and Jackson and 10th and Oregon. So during 2010 to 2011, I went to all the places with him. I wish I would have. How long has this been here? Um, they cut the ribbon here in 2000 and... 2014, actually. Okay, I was living in Florida at the time. I was in Florida between 2010 and 2015. So by the time I came back, he had already moved to Delaware. So I didn't see him in South Philadelphia as much as I did when I lived here. Gotcha. And I lived, so that's what was so, un, you know, that I would have found this then, definitely. And, and look oh, the it's, look at that. And then, of course, all the soldiers that I have yeah. that, um, uh, now, how do people donate, like, again, you know, any, because I would, I've been submitting, like, some of the artifacts that I was just showing a little bit with the passport on it, to, like, some of those Facebook groups that are historical uh -huh. Philadelphia. Yeah. But are there ones like this um, that I would be able to send photos of my own experiences, like the, my favorite ones? 
Okay. Okay. I'm not sure. I gotta have, I can get back to you on yeah. that. Yeah. Because uh, Nick knows all about the museum. Look at the little barber stuff. chair. Isn't that what that is? Yeah, how cool is that? This oh my is goodness. I never saw that really. From uh, well, one of our current chapter presidents, Sal Rosati. Yeah. He to open this when he came here and donated the whole display. This is all materials he used. The chairs look with the ashtrays. I know. The ashtrays remind me of my uh, pop pop. I remember him having. <laughs> One of those stand-up ones, but I remember seeing him in a barber shop. Uh, I can't remember where it was, but I remember something like that where you would open it, almost like you saw in the old cars. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, exactly. And, and they, they were like the chrome. Authentic, um, that's what it's... It, the picture of it when it was in use. Oh yes. Yeah. Look at that authentic original barber chair. I take a, my sister is a hairdresser. I have to make sure she sees that <laughs> well, in a photo. And then over here the. Um, all the combs and the other oh yes the that would be all of the scissors and combs they used yes. and look they were metal mm -hmm. and they have like the little oils i guess when they would do the beards and yes. things and um look at that collection look at that roma that's a um mm -hmm. license plate yeah for one of those little tiny uh which my father was lucky enough to be in the cold war that would have been in the army in the late 1950s and he traveled all over Italy so I found a whole bunch of photos of him traveling there oh. with his uh, friends in the army so I collected all those and put them on Facebook have you that's ever, been really extraordinary have you been back to, have you been I was there Italy? once I went through in, when I was on a tour in Europe oh. I wish then I would have appreciated it more and I would have stayed longer but it was one of those uh, you know 20 day excursions where you I went through Brussels and <laughs> Netherlands and Luxembourg France Switzerland you know how Venice yeah and then Italy and then came back around into France and then you when I kind of wish you would have just did the Italy part yeah I <laughs> ended up going back but you know what it is um Francesca I think the problem is growing up I had heard so much about Italy that I wanted to see other, you know, and I went to school with people that were German descent or Polish or, Viet, you know, um, anything, you know, yes. all, all the whole European or even Spain. Uh, so that was the one I didn't get to. Um, and I didn't get to Portugal. I'm trying to think of some of the ones I didn't get to. But I will go back. Definitely. I want to go back by ship. <laughs> That's uh, all this rushing. When you're little, you don't appreciate it as much. Like when I was younger, like the culture and everything, like I... When I first immigrated over here, I was so concerned with, like, assimilating and learning the English language. And then, like, as I grew up, I'm like, you, you kind of... Well, it wasn't... With the culture, you Yeah, know? well, because I'm older than you are, I really didn't fully appreciate it until they all started to die. So because I'm now a generation that's at the head... Uh, where I've lost all, you know, parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, you know, that all came through here, uh, or they were born here, or they came from Italy. You know, the, the first family was, again, the ones that came from Calabrito, uh, like in a province in the middle of Italy, kind of southern. They all were south of Naples, even Foggia, of my mother's side. That's usually all that. Yeah, I don't have any northern. Yeah. You probably can tell by the col my coloring a little bit <laughs> that it would. Uh, I didn't have anybody from like Florence or Genoa or Milan, because I remember having blonde Italian friends as a child, and I didn't know well, what they were. Back then, too, oh yeah, that's right. Some of them told me that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't completely understand that because I only just knew what I knew. Oh, wow, look at this. This is the, the American, American dreams. dreams. Yeah, yeah, I see all Mario the biggest, Puzio. The biggest Italian American. Yeah, like even Frank Sinatra or somebody that would be right. um, uh, Mario Lanza, Tony yeah. Bennett, who's still alive. This one's really cool. Uh, uh, Amadeo Bici from oh. the, the Peanut. You know the Mr. Peanut? Oh, yes. He's the yeah, one yeah. originally. That's why I remember reading <laughs> that. Because maybe one of his relatives just passed away that I was looking at some history of about the peanut. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I can't even. Look at the adding machine. That's what that is, isn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> even, see, that's what I mean. They're before my time. I don't even know. Uh, like, um, even the typewriter that I've seen in people's houses in my yes, lifetime, yeah, they were like a but it was when I was this big because uh -huh. I remember punching on them. And I, oh, <laughs> I found one in my grandparents' uh, basement, and my niece 
who was like four. This would have been at the beginning of the 2000s. And I took a picture of her in front of it. Because she didn't understand, I don't think, what it was. Oh, now with all the technology, they're probably like... Yeah, Natalie, isn't that cool? Because she's going to see this video. That typewriter is really incredible. Because <laughs> it's even so different than when I was growing up. <laughs> Well, this is an absolute fabulous. Look at all the records, of course, from, oh, no, the, um, what do you call these? Artifact type. Uh, what, what is this, actually? Those kind of, uh, are they like little booklets or? It's like the um, family and like genealogy. <laughs> the gravy wars. Oh, my goodness. I never think about that because of some people calling it sauce <laughs> yes. and some people calling it gravy. Uh-huh. There's yeah, the whole the thing in the Italian. I was lucky enough in that. the library here in the city, the big one near Art Museum area. Uh-huh. That I took out all the Italian books. <laughs> then I bought some of them that are South Philadelphia Experience. All these different ones that, you know, I can like. And luckily, I got a chance to show some of the great aunts um, books I bought that were then and now. So you could see what Broad Street, what, you know, different places look like. Pashunk Avenue. And then what it looked like when they were little. You know, so that's really cool. That is really cool. They were lucky to have a photographer, an, a great uncle of mine, that ha held me once, right before he, uh, right before he died. Oh. I was only five weeks old. And here, my character is a lot like him. My photography eye, my, you know, zest for travel, independence. He was just like that. But I only, I never got a chance to really meet him. But um, he's in the... The spirit. Of spirit. the mausoleum. Yeah. And, yeah, it's like dedication. Look how cool that is when you look at it from this angle. Oh yeah! Wow, I gotta get a photo of that. This work here, this really proud of this. Well, I can imagine. I would be extremely proud of this. Wow. Joey, I so, um, I don't know if you ever heard of him. This is all. Is that the money? The lira? Stuff. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah, because I you know, I was using the euro dot when I was over there. Yeah, the lira went out. Of the yeah, because I know I collected a lot of them and I kept them in a jar. When I was little, I, I had, um, I did the that. same thing. And then I came over here, and then they changed it to the Euros. Yes, right. Because I remember going in the late, you would have been probably about 12 years old, the first time I did one of those tours in 1998. That was when I was still using all the different uh, currency. Mm -hmm. um, even the pound in London, in uh, England. Which one still kept it? I think one. One, yes. Is it Switzerland or... Oh, I could have sworn were, when I was over there, I remember right. somebody, somebody, not the that Frank. Didn't, didn't jump on the train and they were. Yeah. Uh huh. Maybe they have by now? Maybe. I don't oh. know. I haven't looked into it. Um, I haven't looked into it since. Oh, wow. Oh, so this is like a. Um, oh, look, the spaghetti eating center. <laughs> the contest. Yeah, Isn't that cool? Uh huh. We have videos. Oh, of that. wow. Ooh. Is this um like a menu for like. Is it like a catering menu or somebody else that's this in the area? This was the Heroes Award, so we have oh. this uh, presentation. Oh, I, have that I can maybe like put yeah, this in my in my video. Yeah, I was going to like take it. Oh, maybe when I take some photos. You can just before take that. it. That's cool. Um, wow. It was a special presentation. What does that mean? This Museo is, Car Caruso? Museo Caruso. This is all new. This literally just came. He looks like you're coming into the lunchroom. Um, Over here. <laughs> <laughs> this, all this stuff that you see here in Museo Caruso um, is all brand new. It literally came here like a couple weeks ago. So, oh my goodness, really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I like yeah. the way they even hung up things from the ceiling. Yes, this is all fresh. Even this, so everything back here is uh -huh. new. Oh look, a curio cabinet. My great aunts were known for that, and my sister has one from them. Uh, that had like hummels. That was something that Italians liked collecting. It was a porcelain uh -huh. that they would go over to Europe and bring them back. And I'm not sure if all of them were, but actually it was from Germany originally. But I think many Italians collected them. And oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, that's what I've seen on Facebook. You only have now, this is only open on Saturday. Saturday is like 9 to 3. Is that that's what I thought I saw? No, no. Because I couldn't make any um, other arrangements.